Hi guys, today's video is going to be a Lush review. Um, I haven't done a Lush review in a little while, so I figured I'd review something that I've actually had for a while and I just never got around to reviewing. Um, and that is Therapy Massage Bar. Um, now I'm just going to tell you a little bit about the massage bars in general. Um, basically what a massage bar is, it is a solid bar that when it reacts with your own natural body heat, it makes... Um, Kind of basically like an oil, and you can use it to like massage other people, which is like yeah, fun. Um, and or you could just use it to um, help like dry uh, dry patches on your skin. You can do it to yourself too. It feels really nice to do it to yourself, so it doesn't really matter. You don't need someone to like rub you down, although that's obviously preferred. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so basically, um, the one that I'm reviewing today is the only one that I've had, and it's uh, Therapy Massage Bar. It looks like this. Um, and I have a smaller one, so I'm actually going to show you that one. And basically, like I said, it reacts with your body heat, and it's like 7,000 degrees in this room right now. So as you can see, it doesn't take much to make like an oil, and uh, like that, basically. Um, and basically what you do is you, you can do like rub it in your hand, so your hands get oil, and like rub it. And, or you could just put it like right from the bar. Um, the big therapy massage bar has the little knobby thing to help, I guess, for that reason. Um, I, I prefer to use the other side, though, but anyway. Um, yeah, so basically, I'm just going to tell you a little bit about what it says and what it's supposed to do and then what it did for me and et cetera, et cetera. So it says, um, it actually, it smells like lavender and, um, see, it's hard to get it open once it's, like, oily. Um, it smells like citrus and lavender. And they said a little bit of chocolate. Um, I get more of like an orangey, lemony scent than anything else. So um, it's kind of a fresh scent, so I like that. Uh, the sm it smells really good, so that always helps. Um, it says on the site, book yourself in for therapy. Euphoria-inducing bar with uplifting neroli, which I take it as some sort of something. I don't know. But it basically smells like citrus. Um, therapy is a wonder bar, which you make to help your life... Help your hard life get softer. I can't read right now. Um, it was the first therapeutic massage bar, and it remains the first certified organic. First, it moisturizes with cocoa and shea butters to make your hard skin get softer. It's 100% organic. All the essential oils and butter in therapy are certified organic. It softens your tensions with lavender and neroli oils. Neroli is the one that gives you a feeling of euphoria, especially when you have someone massaging it into your shoulders. Give therapy a try, and you'll feel better in no time. Some essential oils are... Um, class to synergy, I don't know how to fucking pronounce that. It's basically like aromatherapy crap. Um, and neroli and lavender in particular are, um, said to have a strengthening effect on the elasticity of your skin. So, that's that. Um, they, yeah, so they basically have a bunch of crap in it to, um, help tighten your skin. Now, I also read somewhere that this is really good for people with stretch marks, um, I don't necessarily have that much stretch marks. I think most people do. If anything, mine are on, like, my legs. I have big thighs, so, um, not, like, anything super noticeable, because I don't scar or, like, get real, um, dark, um, sh uh, stretch marks or anything. Um, I used it on my thighs, and, like, my stretch marks just, like, slightly dis um, diminished. I don't know if that's just, like, a natural thing over time or if it had anything directly to do with this, but, I mean, I can't imagine it didn't hurt. Um, as for the effect, it does feel very, very oily, and you do feel oily for a while after. Um, it leaves your skin really, really moisturized, which is good. I like using this in the winter. I've had this one for, like, a while. Um, I prefer to use it in the winter, though, because that's when, my, like, my legs and my arms and my elbows get really dry. It's really good for your elbows. Um, yeah, like, in the summer right now, it's, again, seriously, like... I'm going to die hot in this room right now, so it's a little much to feel oily in the summer. Like, I don't feel it's a really good summery thing, unless, of course, you're in, like, an air-conditioned area and, like, you know, lucky you. But, um, yeah, like, I don't think it's great in the summer because you feel too oily and it's just, like, you want to feel clean as opposed to, like, slimy and oily. But um, it, it, does, it does rub into the skin, I'd say, in about half an hour. It doesn't take that long. Um... Moving into sign of like a personal note, this is really good to rub on your blub blub blubs in like your chesticle area. Um, 
random, I know, but just just trust me on that. Not only does it feel fantastic when you do that, and I'm gonna get comments being like, you rub your boobs, or like, yeah, okay, whatever, like, what, what woman doesn't? Um, <laughs> but yeah, it, it's, it's fun. And it's also good, I imagine, if, like, you know, you want an easy way to, like, kind of feel your breast for, like, anything, that's always a good way to do that, too. Um, I know Lush actually has a product out, new product out, that is designed for rubbing on your boobs, so, um, yeah, I'm not the first to say that that's, I've used this for that. Um, <laughs> yeah, so, you know, that's always good. Always be sure to, uh, check for stuff, because that's always a good thing. Um... Yeah, so overall, um, I forget how much this is. I don't know how much it is now. Um, hold on, let me see, and I'll open it up. And it should say somewhere. Um, it is... It is um, $8.95 Canadian, so... Oh, crap, I just lost my video. I can't... I don't know where I went. Oh, there I am, okay. Um, it is about $9, which is pretty good, because this has lasted me a long time. I've used it countless of times. Um, the big one, whoops, and... And you can see, that's how hot it is. It kind of sticks to the bottom. That's how hot it is in my room right now. Um, another thing, too, is you can purchase the tins to keep them in. I recommend you do. Um, it's because it's much easier and it won't melt all over the place. And it just looks better in this. Um, yeah, overall, I think it's really good. I definitely um, am going to be using it more in the winter, like I said. Because it's, it's more comforting in the winter than the summer because you want to feel uh, clean and it's kind of just like an oily product so you don't really want to use it in the summer when it's hot um yeah I like it it moisturizes my skin it smells like citrus and it smells good um it's good for rubbing on places that you want to rub it on and if you have somebody else to rub your places then you're lucky that's awesome <laughs> I wish I did um yeah but I guess that's it. Um, for smell, I guess, out of 10, it's a 9. Again, if you don't like citrusy smells, you might not like it. It's kind of a personal thing. Um, most With most scents, they are. It depends on if you like them or if you don't. Um, price is really good because mine's lasted a long time for $9. And what else? Um, just the overall product, I guess. I'd say a 9. Like, I'm definitely going to use mine and repurchase it. A little bit goes a long way with this, so... Um, you don't have to be worried about using it up too quickly, especially if you're using it in, like, the colder months or whenever you really want to use it. But, yeah, that's it. I think I've rambled for long enough. Um, I really like this, and if you're out lush and you want something, you're looking in for, like, maybe, like, a moisturizer. It's really good for moisturizing. Um, or if you want something good smelling to rub on someone or yourself, um, check that out. But, uh, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this review, and until my next video, I'll talk to all of you soon. Bye.